welcome back to my hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel dorinda tv my name is mrs dorin daniel if you are new here i want to say welcome to my youtube channel officially welcome then if you've been here i want to thank you very much for being there for being a good followers and for your like your comments and your view for those contacting me i want to say thank you very much you've been a great great inspirator i want to say may god bless you for just the word of advice for your guide and for being a good fan previously we discussed on how we can prevent our man our men from cheating from uh, infidelity and we've talked just a little or more about it so today i want to discuss how to prevent uh, infidelity or adultery from your relationship or from your marriage that is what i'm going to discuss uh, today so now let's get there so sorry maintain a happy marriage or a successful marriage or a successful relationship or a happy relationship takes a lot of effort and commitment on the part of both partner which we know that it is very very vital it's very it is very vital part of maintaining a relationship this adultery especially preventing it is the most difficult thing that anyone can ever embark on even see some people may find themselves caught up in an affair or uh, find out that uh, their um, partner is having a, an affair. You may be wondering what some of the things are the, uh, that when you cough, ca catch your partner or your spouse, I don't know whatever you call your partner in such an activity, you may be wondering how can you prevent this from repeating itself. But today, you may have not not much but at least little solution to that query marriage in um, keeping your marriage intact and keeping your partner from uh, from uh, going astray or from straying oh no sorry keeping your partner from straying or from going astray is not a and is it that it's been something I've been longing to discuss, but to tell you the truth, it is not uh, easy. I really dig deep to make sure that I have little, nothing or little solution to this particular problem. I've, I research typically. So now, in order to make, to keep your relationship intact, some question will go. Why some suggestion will go? Yes, now we'll discuss on how we can keep this. You can begin to protect your marriage from adultery or from a, a cheating, from a infidelity if you take the proper step, for instance. Do things such as communicating effectively with your partner. Those things make marriage stay, stay and uh, spend quality time together and address conflict in your marriage in two I don't know if you understand. When you are addressing conflict in your marriage, address it in two. So, because the moment you are you invite third party into your home, I'm sorry, you may t you may be in control of some certain but you may not be in control in all the things, especially when it comes to adultery or infidelity. And first news may come. You understand. So now today, yes, first thing first to prevent uh, your uh, adultery or infidelity from your home the best thing to do is prayer but outside prayer there are something you can't be praying and fold your hands together and allow the magic perform itself outside prayer there are some certain things you as an individual have to do i did more research on this very on technique to reduce the uh, infidelity this particular topic we are treating we've been treating for weeks now I really go deep to know as mate guiding or as a mate retention. I don't know how to call myself or tactics on the phys phys physiological um, study. And these techniques I've learned, these few topics I've learned, I believe if you apply them or if you put them to work, believe me, it will definitely work for you. So, mate guiding and mate retention techniques are what we are going to follow because if you you can't say what you don't know how to handle it so now 
An special investigation is what I cannot go through. Well, at least I've, I've experienced an issue close to this and those few things I use in handling them, we will discuss them and the little I've researched more. So the behavior where we're categorized into different, uh, there are some behavior performed by both men and women to guide or to retain their relationship. So we we'll first of all mention this uh, behavior. Those behavior where we're categorized into many separate uh, tactics are the most basic tactics where either uh, um, uh, employed to keep the individual mates faithful themselves or to ward off potential rival who might try to steal uh, them i mean uh, intrasexual manipulation who might, who might try to steal them then the full categories of the techniques are what i want to discuss now because let's see the full uh, categories direct guiding behavior that control the mate behavior directly you understand another one is vigilance keeping track of the mate checking up and spying <laughs> then uh, concealment keeping the mate away from others so these are behavior that uh, both men and women have to be lighting up to keep the uh, relationship a bit uh, lively monopolization monopolization taking up all the mate time and staying close negative endorsement behavior that reduces a mate's motivations uh, motivations to cheat this is also called negative endorsement i don't know but i'm just trying to explain them little by little Treat, uh, treating infidelity, flirting with uh, someone to make the mate jealous in return. But this may be so uh, uh, dr uh, drastically, the result may come out so, so bad if you try it. Then emotional um, manipulation, crying, pleading, or making a mate feel guilty. <laughs> then punish uh, punish infidelity treat yelling at or ignoring a mate who is flirting with a rival commitment uh, manipulation asking for a great, greater commitment to uh, reduce uh, cheating the der uh, derogation of uh, competitors <laughs> Pointing out flows in rivals. You see, I'm only mentioning just the word, the key word, and giving you just saying the meaning because that is not the main thing we are discussing today. Then, um, positive endorsement behavior that increase mate motivation to stay faithful. You see, these are the kind of what I'm saying is what this behavior you can apply it gradually and it to help. But the main things you need to process are yet to come. And the resource display, buying the mate something nice. Sexual endorsement, increasing sex or sexual behavior with your partner. Enhance physical appearance, looking good for, the, for your partner. Then uh, emphasize love and caring, uh, sharing love and uh, affection with mates. Submission and... Uh, debasement changing or giving in uh, to please a mate so those are the uh, few things or should i continue public signal of a possession there are many character that can help but public uh, signal of a possession can see a behavior that shows that uh, that shows the person is with that uh, that meaning this behavior that those kind of character that you put up in public that shows that yes mr a is uh, mrs um, a is uh, or mrs b fiance and the viber signal claiming mate as girlfriend boyfriend spouse etc wife husband yes F uh, then uh, ornamentation <laughs> Giving mates uh, clothing or jewelry to wear to show uh, to show relationship uh, status, you understand? Like 
for example, this uh, may like say, let me say, I'm engaged. You, you see, this is my wedding ring, you understand? So, this for example, of this, you are engaged, you you put it here. Of course, you know that my wedding ring cannot enter here because I never wear it. So, this putting ring here, you're, you are engaged. That is to show that the uh, your door is closed nobody should trespass nobody should even look into it so those are all you can see some some men can easily buy you a, a diamond ring and buy you a necklace and put the diamond ring as the pendant and you a real man that see root when you saw it you know that that person belonged to someone and then uh, so these are just sign of keeping your mate from being uh, taken. Let's just put it like that. Then a negative endorsement behavior that reduces um, a rival motivation to cheat on a mate. I think I've also talked about that. Then uh, talk about uh, violence, physical assaulting a rival, which is very good. Okay, in the second study, focus on a uh, Perception of the effectiveness of each mate's guiding uh, behavior. As I say, I really go deep to get this. From the participant ranking, the researcher find that some behavior were more effect effective preventing infidelity than the other. So, those ones that are more effective, let me put it, say, in my research, I find out that some, some of all this behavior I have mentioned are more important or they are more uh how would i say they worked more than others so those ones that really worked i know that when people apply it it worked are the ones we will be discussing in details so from uh like eg tactics such as emphasizing love and caring are very very important enhancing physical appearance are very very, very important resource display from men sexual endorsement for women appearing to be the most effective technique to keep a mate faithful these are the things i know that these things i just mentioned are the ones i know that when you really put them to work it really keep your mates faithful and there will be no, I don't know, no katakata. The the relationship will move smoothly, or the marriage will be will keep sweetening. It will become a bed of roses, even though marriage is not a bed of roses. In contra technique that we where violence, negative or direct uh, controlling tended to be less effective. Because partner, whereas partners were able to keep their mates from cheating primarily by positive endorsement. Motiv motivate them with um, virus reward to stay faithful. Preventing adultery and infidelity is not just what you can just see. You will be telling your partner, don't cheat, you understand? Especially with women, you can't just be opening your mouth and be telling your man, don't you? Yes, it's good. You can open your mouth and say it. But there are some things you have to do to keep that man, uh, like, keep him... You, let me just say, you keep yourself everyday attractive like me now person like me every day i bring out new character new uh, techniques to make sure that my man is always intact you understand i'm not that nagging type i don't chewing gum too much but the uniqueness in me makes him stay you understand so sometimes we bring there are some uniqueness in us that we need to put to work to make our man always be there for us that is what i'm trying to say so yet other threaten but uh, beg or plead uh, like what i'm saying is that some like need be uh, other some characters like uh, other becoming needy controlling and jealous yet others are treating uh, threatening like if you dare cheat you know those kind of words it's just like you're threatening the man and you know that even if you cheat you cannot do anything controlling no you can't control a man this these things he may these things may drive the man away just like as i am you will expect me to carry my husband's phone and be Pressing, controlling a who chats him, who doesn't. See, my dear, I leave you with this word. If you 
carry all your time focus on controlling man phone you will end up having heart attack you understand so instead of you to kill yourself by your own hand why don't you let those things go and have rest of mind like me <laughs> If I want that one, one day I will bring my husband to screen and you ask him if truly I I ever control his phone to know what is going on. See, I consider those things as just eating myself up for nothing. I don't really, I'm not too good in that because I have many other things to do. See, if a man wants to cheat, the moment you start out those unnecessary security, it's like you are giving the man minds to cheat. So all those things are not anywhere close to keeping your man in check. No. I will discuss or I will tell you exactly how you can take care of your man and your man will know we have no option but to stick to you. So we are on it. As we have above, all of these things are indeed techniques used to guide inmates. But they are not the most effective one. All this pleading, all this uh, threatening, all this uh, controlling. Those ones, yes, you can. It, it helps to keep a man safe. But to say the truth, they are not effective. In fact, they might be counterproductive to a happy or loving and or a successful relationship. You understand? Those things may even bring an extra, extra problem. It's you. So it is better to keep a mate from cheating by increasing their their motivation and their desire to stay. Essentially, rather than trying to control or punish a partner or be pushing a partner away from or punishing because of infidelity, or it is more effective to reward or encourage uh, or encourage their faithfulness and their love, their caring. It is more effective the moment than to be punishing them, uh, threatening them, trying to control them. Eh? See, let me tell you, if you are controlling a man and he stays, he sticks with you today. Better stop it. Because the moment the man gets fed up, even uh, if you like, call your, go and wake your great grandmother, mother from grave to come and help you beg. So men, the moment they fed up of that attitude of yours, they may not even listen. You understand it takes grace of God. So now let's get to the main important things that we are going to be discussing today as we move on. Just so now, as we go on, the most important ones, just, just as I, I said that we are picking the most effective ones. Because if I say let's continue listening, listening, we may finish the whole year, we will not get the important ones now the most important one which is number one is emphasizing love and caring you see this one is very very important by far the most effective behavior behaviors reported used by both men and women were those that communicate love and care sometimes this demonstration were viber meaning this demonstration you can say it with your mouth you understand Declaration of love and care. Other times, they were physically signs of affection. In either care, they increase a partner's feeling of a, a con connection and attraction. You understand? Reducing the likelihood that they might um, cheat. You have to show your partner love. Make him understand that you care for him. You see, the moment you take proper care of your partner, it may, this may, and I, I said this is the most important one because show, when the, the moment you are showing your partner love, you, you're showing that you care every day by day, remind him how much you love him. Remind him how much you care. Do those things that make that makes people feel that yes, this person really cares for me. Believe me not. You the moment you are doing those, you are reducing his uh, uh, let me say his mindset from going close to infidelity or cheating. Rather, you are drawing his mindset close to your heart. You understand? So reducing is uh, so to improve infidelity to your uh, 
to improve uh, the infidelity of your relationship build a greater connection with your lover you understand share your gratitude with them and be physically aff uh, affectionate not that inside you you love a man and physically you will be pretending to be jaguar Sometimes just a little moment of romantic romantic dinner can change a story. Sometimes still you, I, you see I'm always always uh, emphasize on women because you can see I'm a woman. Sometimes you have to feel this the uh, petty petty appearance, you understand? Make your mom feel that yes, you care, you love. Word of mouth can stop something that may spoil, might, that is tending to spoil. You can use your mouth to correct some wrongs. Always show your man, your partner, this, this, show your partner, be it man or woman, that you care. Show your partner that you loved, you loved him. Emphasize this love and care with your partner and you will see that it will reduce it. Uh, infidelity in your relationship in your marriage or in your let me put it in your home so you see when i say there are some that are more important than others i mean it then number two enhancing physical appearance <laughs> oh boy this one is bomb you understand enhancing physical appearance men and women also found uh, that improving their looks helped keep their partner intention this one goes to both men and women you understand some made themselves up a bit others got some new clothes overall the physical improvement help keep lovers eyes on them and away from other rivals see let me tell you as a woman this one is going to woman directly as a woman not because you give birth to one so if you feel like give birth to 10 therefore you are you are you have become bobozu do maybe coming from school hell no i say woman no matter see let me tell you it doesn't take millions of naira to maintain yourself anywhere around the world it doesn't take millions of naira to maintain yourself even though you don't have new clothes learn how to match the little ones you have Learn how to look good, look gorgeous. See, when I mean say look good, look gorgeous, look attractive, I did not mean go naked. No. It's not because that you must wear bikini to keep your man to look good. No. You can wear a very good, gorgeous dress. Learn how to keep your face in order. I'm not so good at it, too, but this the little I know I can do. You understand? So you as a especially this one goes to a woman mostly. You as a woman, not because you have given birth or you, you are married, then you are giving birth to one, then you will stop maintaining yourself. See, let me tell you that thing your man saw in you when you were still maintaining yourself. Try to keep it. You see, there are some old women that I admire so much, even as they are old. Eh? The, the, the moment they get the, the, the shower, they will still remember their red lipstick and their eye pencil. Even though they don't really know how to apply it to the modern age. But at least, they still remember that during their days, there is what they call white powder that they rub in their faces. And those these old women, even as old as they are, they are still keeping themselves in order. So you as a young woman, why don't you? Or why won't you? It's very important that learn how to make yourself look decent and neat. Always, always be decent. Let your appearance shut your husband's mouth as a woman, you know. You know, there are some dresses you would dress. You know that, yes, my husband admired this dress. Person like me, I know the kind of dress my husband likes so much. 
to see a woman wearing. So I cannot go, you see those dress, I don't play with it. So you as a woman, you know the type of dress your husband wants to be seen. That thing that another girl, that, that young girl that is 16 years have, you have it in, in, in surplus. So why don't you make yourself look more good? Look good. Let your, let your appearance be a bit attractive. Don't keep yourself as if the whole world is against you. Because the moment you are keeping yourself as if the whole world is against you, your man will see reason to go and have an affair. But if you are looking good, know how to dress, when to wear something and when not to wear. See, not that you are at home, you will be tying wrapper. Some houses of women, they will tie wrapper here. Wrapper. Why? No. See. You see all this bun short, short skirt, all this bikini. You as a married woman, you can't wear it outside. But my darling, it is important that for where only your husband and I can reach, my darling, you can wear them. You can still make the man understand that you are still young. You see, no time is too late to rebuke, to reshape something. If you check very well that your man is pursuing who is wearing bun shorts, my darling, go to market, buy it. The moment you saw him coming back from work, we, sight like me, I sight my husband from window. Sight him from window. Anyway, you know that you can sight him. Sight him before he get home. Eh? Make sure that you have mowed your face. I call it plaster. You have plastered your face with uh, another color. How only? How do they say? Yes, now. Plaster it with Medicaid. Anything you know you can use to plaster your face. Plaster it. Make your face look smiley. Hmm? And put on that gun shot. Because if I accept bone shot, now bump too far. Put up that shorty and make sure that you look good. To tell you the truth, if you can do this, and your husband was going out before, <laughs> my darling, you will see that the going out will start reducing gradually and the miracle will complete itself. So please, but this one, likewise men, you will see some men, they will be wearing a, they will look so tattered. It is good for a man to look good. So men will be wearing clothes that have not been washed for like three years. Like if you see their uh, bosses, if you use it to Mediterranean, you have a lot of fish to catch because you will kill almost all the fish there. You are see man. How much is see? It does. I, I repeat, it's not composed that you must wear marker. No, you can still wear ordinary clothes and make it look good. It doesn't cut your hands to wash something. And you, as a woman, if you want your husband to look good, why don't you make him look good? If you see something that ah, if my husband wear this, he will look good. Get it for him. Or is it only your own? You can get, you can squeeze money from your man to buy for yourself, or you cannot buy for your man. See, men, I know that men they hardly go to any shop to to shop to do like to do sh to to shop to buy things. So you as a woman, so we we women, our name is buy. We can buy for Africa. We we'll buy 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 buy. We know the we we don't we don't reverse when we are buying. So my dear. Try sometimes to lighten up your husband's mindset or your boyfriend by getting him some things that you would like him to be putting on. Another one, rewarding them, rewarding your partner. A thoughtful gift, a bit of sexual attention and uh, can tend to keep partner happy and faithful too. See, there is one thing I like about gifts. If your mind was going to London before, and who is in Abuja got you some stop talking gift. See, gifts, no matter how small it is, gifts remain valuable. There are some men, there are some women that no matter how little the gift you buy for them, they prefer those gifts more than who is riding a helicopter. So, my dear, 
if you don't know how to buy gift for your husband or for your wife learn it it will help you to prevent infidelity this one infidelity hasn't come we're just trying to make sure that we will prevent it from coming buying them little little gifts can keep them faithful and affection and make rewarding mates uh, faithful and affections behavior when your husband did something good you can reward him when your wife did something wonderful you can rewards it's not something that it's not composed that it's, it's also a gift no you can uh, let me say so like um, let, how will i say it? i lost my phone of recent and my the day i lost my phone not up to 12 hours my husband got me another phone which is this one i'm using now i want to give you an example to say that as in to show your gratitude as a woman the best thing you can do is if you don't know if you don't have money to take your man out cook him a very delicious dinner make the dinner a romantic one with that you will see that yes you value him you appreciate him you adore him you honor him individuals who, re who reward mates lawyer and considerate behavior with same says response was uh, successful in keeping their uh, in keeping their partner happy You understand especially men that reward their women my dear there'll be something that will make your woman cheat on you except that woman is a dog yes except the woman is a dog you can cheat there, therefore or the, the how will i say it to keep your partner satisfied and faithful it is important to reward them uh, more and more and attend to their needs for romantic uh, gifts and also sexual fulfillment. This is how you can reward them, your partner. So please learn how to reward your partner. It is very, very important. So another one is talking about everything. Mean or should I say communicate with your partner effectively one thing to do is uh, one thing you can do to straighten your marriage to keep it strong and to protect your relationship from adultery or from uh, 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 infidelity how will I say it or from cheating so what you to do to prevent your partner from cheating is talking to each other on a daily basis talk about the important things and the minor everyday things learn how to discuss to communicate with your partner to discuss to talk about almost everything communicate on a regular basis will keep you and your partner connected with each other it will also prevent either of you from seeking someone else to share it with see learn how to share your any like me now if i go out and something happen the moment i come back you understand i'll just say here yeah. okay well see you look at this that happened where i went to i don't need to share my thoughts with another i can only share it with my best friend who is my husband who happened to be my husband so to avoid third party in your life Learn how to talk everything with your husband or with your partner. This is this goes to both parties. Learn how to talk everything with your partner. Send your partner a, a I love you text or instant message in the middle of the day just to let them know you care. Share your success and failure with your partner, not third party. For example, call your partner when you get the promotion that you've been trying to if you are working class. 
you, there is something you are looking for, for incidentally you found it. Let's call your partner to share. See, it's not only bad moments you share with your partner. It's not only when I, uh, I, I run out of this, so can you help me? You share with your partner. In good time too, you can still share with your partner. Sorry. Share, uh, talk in the evening about world and local events. You might, you might even decide that uh, each evening you two will discuss polite over dinner. Or after dinner, you can still have like 10 minutes of your time to sit down and discuss how, like, you may, especially women, we can even start by, ah, hey, whoa, honey, how, how, how did work go today? What happened in your office today? And from there, you can be getting more closer, more closer, more closer to your partner. Try communicating via text, email, social media, or video chat. It doesn't matter how you communicate with each other. So be creative with your partner. It's very, very, very important. Number, I think we are going to number five, right? Listen to each other's activity, attentively, like actively. Effective communication is one of the key to making a marriage work. It's also one of the main ways that can try to protect your marriage from adultery or from this so from uh, infidelity. The better you the better you and your spouse communicate, the easier the easier it will be for you to resolve conflicts and uh, keep your marriage working. Because if you don't know how to communicate with your man, please learn it from today. Learn how to communicate with your partner. If you as a man, you don't know how to communicate with your woman, please, you have to resolve that little space. Learn how to communicate with your woman. Learn how to communicate with your partner in general. We should learn how to communicate with our spouse. See, the moment, the more you communicate with your partner, the more you get close, the more the bond gets closer. Removing distraction when you and your partner are having serious conversation. Cut off the TV. Take away anything that will distract both of you when you are discussing. Wait till the kids are asleep before you even start discussion to avoid anything that will distract you. Put your electronic device on silence or vibration. You can easily off them. I mean your phones. You can off them to make the communication. That 10 or 20 minutes you want to spend discussing with your partner let nothing distract you let your partner know you want you know you want a distraction free conversation like you don't need anything that would disturb say something like hey dear what would you mind cutting well would you mind cutting off the tv or just try to put the question politely you know just can we have some moment of silence to discuss little you understand or to talk about our situation or to talk about anything anything important to discuss on our progress to discuss on our sources to talk about on the situation around us or your surroundings just introduce any subhead the discussion and make sure that it's a quiet moment Look at your spot and ask your spot to look at you when you all are discussing. Because eye contact, you see, this eye contact is another weapon of love. See, if your partner is discussing with you and they cannot look at your eye above, I'm sorry, that partner might be cheating. Oh, yes. If your partner cannot look at your eye above, see, you see, you know that that partner is not far from cheating. I say so. Because it's only who is doing something that is not right that would not want to look at your eyeball. Listen when your partner is talking instead of letting your mind drift or thinking about what you will say. First of all, learn how to listen attentively. Because a good listener will end up being a good teacher. So that is how 
you can treat that. Then the other one is express your needs. One reason people have a fear is because their needs are not being met within their current uh, affair or relationship or marriage. I don't know. You may turn to some someone outside the marriage to fulfill your needs, but that is not right. If you don't feel your spouse can meet up that need, then adjust it. You can protect your marriage from adultery. Though, if you make sure that um, you and your partner are both letting each other know that you need you need from the marriage, like you you both are good in letting each other know that this is what I need from this marriage. This is how I want it. Learn how to discuss your need. Learn how to discuss your wants with your partner. Don't go seek for it from your from third party because it may be dangerous. Tell your partner when you need when you need having been met. If your need is not met yet, always discuss it with your partner. You might have to say, I know we are both busy, but I need your time. You understand? You may even ask him to spend some quality time with if you know that that is what you are lacking in the relationship. Give your partner an opportunity to express their needs. When you also learn how to express your own need and also give your partner the opportunity to express their need. Listen and pay attention if your partner tells you they need more communication or more intimacy. Try to fill the gap, to free the gap between you and your partner. When your partner requests for something, don't talk back rudely, whereas let the communication go smoothly. You might even say, uh, let me know what you need from me and from our marriage. You may ask such question. It's not a crime if you ask such question. Another one, spend quality time together. Show your spouse that you care. You can help protect your marriage from adultery if you make sure that you are making an effort to show your partner that you love them. Be sure that you think about what matters to them, not only you. Your partner may want, to, may want you to take a co-off, like take off. Understand? Not buy them. To, not buy them a gift. Like they would want you to be with them. Like, let's take off. Let's go on a vacation. Not buying them a gift. It doesn't have to be anything big or, ma or, or major, but taking the time to let your partner know you care can keep you and them from staying. From straying or from going astray. It's also a way of reminding yourself that uh, you are about, you care about your partner. Leave your partner a small note on the bedroom or in the kitchen that says, I love you. Like I'm giving an example. You can easily leave a text message. Do something special for your partner just to show them that you care about them. You can you can leave like you left your partner at home now in 10 minutes time you can give him a lovely text message. Make a list of all the reasons you love your partner and all the things you like about them. Mail the list to their, to their job or give it to them one day. You understand? What I mean is this. You can just, by trying to appreciate your partner, make like a photo book. 
I love this about you. I love your character, your smile, your this, your that. Make it, watch a lot, make it a photo book, envelope it. You can send it to his office or even give it to him as a present. These are the things you can do to spice up what is already dying. Make time for intimacy. One of the best things you can do to support a healthy marriage is to go and prevent adultery from that marriage is to make sure you are spending intimate time together. Although most people think of sex when they see the word intimacy. No. Sex is not only the thing that means intimacy. There are lots of ways you can be intimate with your partner. Think of ways that you can spend together, enjoy each other's company and presence. If discussing intimacy is an area of anxiety or dread for you, consult a professional. You understand? You can't tell me that as an adult you be, you cannot discuss about your sex life with your partner. That means you need it's not me you need you need a professional. Like you need hospital. That's what I mean. If you need to share, if you need to then schedule a night of for intimacy. It might be as simple as few hours of cuddling or even a plan for romantic sexual evening. These things will make your man feel more you'll be or will make your partner draw more closer to you and think less of infidelity. Take the time to do things like all kissing and go far. When you fix a romantic dinner, let it be between your husband. The other dinner is for just two. You can do a lot of romance to make sure that there is light in your intimate life. You understand? So, another thing is date each other. You may smile when I said this, date each other. But is even though you are married, you can still date each other. Set up a date with each other is very important. Going out together allows you to spend time with each other outside of the house. Spending this time together will also keep the spark and excitement in your marriage. And this will also uh, make your partner feel more closer, draw you more closer. And it will, that, your partner may not be ever thinking, would never ever think of trying to go outside for anything so sometimes it's not it's not it's not only when you are dating you can fix a date or you can go out no even when you're married it's very important that you can just one one day or like that you can just go out together on a romantic dinner or a on a, on a date like go out go out you know what i mean you your part you can take your partner out your partner can take you out Schedule a regular date night with your partner. For example, every Friday night could be date night for two of you. Um, you can that day if you have uh, given birth. Don't mind uh, if you can't if you know that your baby is gonna. You can either either you take your baby to your children, or you can still look for someone who can take care of them for the, even even if, even if it's two three hours. You'll be spending a week. It's okay, but at least try. Once in a month, twice in a month, just try to be fixing up. Try to fix dating. Re-asking yourself out. Oh, once in a while, you'll just say, Ah, honey, I'm taking you out on Friday or Saturday, the day that in the following day there won't be any stress. On Friday, I'm taking you out also time and make sure that that time outing, if you know that your baby, you're not comfortable being with your baby in, that, in, in outing, you can schedule on how to take care of your children. Who, who, who can? But try as much as you can to have to be keeping dates, like dating each other. Don't just go somewhere together. Instead, take the time to put on a special outfit, you know, not that you're just going out, you will dress like me. No, 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 no. You know exactly what your partner like. If, if, if you're a man, you know what your woman like. If you're a woman, you know what your man like. Dress up would look good for your partner when you people are going on this kind of date. 
It's not a crime for a married woman to dress up in suits. I mean, in a pen trouser and wear a very, or a sexy gown, sexy gown. And you, if you remember those days when the man was asking you for out in those process of planting those flowers, just as I discussed earlier. And then, exactly how petty, petty, all those petty, petty dress, you have to still lighten up yourself and make yourself still look good and go for a date with your husband or with your boyfriend. It's not compulsory that because you married there for this date of 18. Okay. We that is here in Western world, you can take your husband to McDonald's. So your husband can take you to McDonald's. Uh, Chinese, you can just do Chinese. Some days, my husband will just say, Honey, you're not cooking today. Sometimes, if I even go out, if I come back, he might have done something special for me because he knows that going out is ne was never my thing like that. So he knows that him taking me out is just like he's suffocating me. Rather, I prefer do that special thing for me at home. My going out, maybe let us throw around that I like, but sit down somewhere, no. So you know what your partner like and try to do it to make sure that you keep his mind right here with you. I don't know if you understand, but I hope you are following up. Another thing is addressing conflict in marriage. Be careful whom you discuss your issue, your marriage or your relationship issue with. Because whom you discuss your issue with determine if your marriage is safe from infidelity or not. If you if you discuss your uh, problem, your marriage problem, your, your problem with you and between you and your partner to someone who never supports that relationship or somebody who is envy of you, I'm sorry, that person may see opportunity to come into it and take that thing that is so precious to you. So it is very, very important that you learn how to live life of two. Don't invite third party because when you are living life of two, you will not give room for another person to come into your home. You understand? So these are the few points I know that with these things, you can keep your marriage away from adultery. And another thing is fight fair. Fighting fair. Avoid calling each other names. Like any little thing you can be tell you tell your husband or your wife you are crazy no avoid calling your man name or your wife name don't say things in order to intentionally hurt your partner so when you when you are fighting let it be fair stick to addressing the problem or issue don't go extravagant. If the issue is finance issue, talk about ways to save instead of calling each other uh, shopaholic, like spendiolic, like that. Just stop pointing accusation finger. Rather, you people should come together and think on how to save more and take yourself away from financial issue. So it is very, very important that every man or every woman deserve a very good partner. So when you pay more attention to your partner, the more you pay attention to your partner, the more you understand your partner and the more you get the minky to his heart and then you will not be thinking of sharing your man with another woman. The time which you are using in thinking of that, use it to do something useful. So, what I'm trying to say is that also learn how to apologize and learn how to forgive. If you really want to keep your home away from adultery, if they your cheating. Learn how to apologize when you are wrong and learn how to forgive when somebody wrongs you. 
Hiding into anger, grudges, and resentment can tear in any marriage apart. These things can also bring about infidelity. So it is very, very important you learn how to apologize. And when somebody also wrong, you learn how to forgive. Because if you forgive, you lift up burden from your heart. But if you don't forgive, your, body, your, your heart is still very heavy. And when, when you wrong someone, learn how to apologize the moment you realize that what you did was wrong. So, my dear, when you and when you try all these things, because if I say okay, go and seek counseling, even if a counselor, a marriage counseling or a, a relationship counseling, talk to you about things and you don't know how to put them to work, it won't work for you. So, first of all, learn how to put all these things to work. Don't don't uh another thing is don't suspect so easily you understand because suspecting so easily may lead to something you won't understand and then it accept reality in some cases you can do to protect your marriage from adultery in some cases, there are nothing you can do. There is nothing you can do to protect your marriage from adultery. It may be that you or your partner are not committed to the relationship. Because when one person is not committed to the relationship, the other person doing is just suffering for nothing. Or when the other partner has a, a commitment problem in general, if you have done what you can do to protect your marriage from adultery but still feel or know that an affair is occurring, you need to accept reality and decide how to address it. Then, if you find out that your partner is not committed, then first of all, you have to make your partner be committed to that relationship or to that marriage. Because it takes two to tango and you also take two to mingle and it takes two to save this to fight this uh adultery issue in a home so it is very very important that you first of all understand so you first of all understand if a partner is committed to the relationship or not you understand and there are many other things you can still do to avoid all these things. Sadly, to avoid suspecting, because the moment you start suspecting, you are giving, you are giving the devil room to come in and destroy. I make mention that it is not good for a woman to be you. It is not good for a, a, especially we women. You going into a man's phone to check his text message, to check his chat history, who he call, who he does not call. Let me tell you. That you are just giving yourself unnecessary headache. Because a real cheater, mm, an expert in cheater, in cheating, the ones I call chronic cheater, if they do, you won't find out. It was only those that are learning you will catch through test message, through phone call. So, there is no need of you uh -uh. going through your man phone. To see if he has a fair or not. Rather, put all these things to work. Learn how to appreciate your man. Learn how to buy, to uh, reward your man in any little thing he does. Learn how to gift your man, your man. Learn how to reward your partner. Learn how to gift your partner. Learn how to appreciate him. Show your partner love. Show your partner care. And in conclusion, preventing infidelity or adultery. Sorry. So, preventing infidelity or adultery, I don't know, can be a concern of a monogamous relationship. Often, individuals use a negative controlling or emotional, emotionally uh, manipulative tact uh, tactics to keep their love affairs. Unfortunately, 
these uh, ones i just mentioned now cannot help rather those ones i've mentioned and explained can help you effectively it can help you keep it because controlling uh, emotional manipulative uh, all these uh, how will i say it? jealousy uh chewing gum and all those things will not help because uh, this this behavior are often not effective and may be counterproductive rather keeping a personal faithful is to be is is best accomplished by increasing their motivation and desire to stay with you so do those things that will attract them those things they they, they like so much those things that will attract their mindset you understand so make sure that you keep them close to you show them that you love and care for them improve your appearance to keep them their attention reward them and attend to their needs for romance and sex these uh, these uh, few points of mine are the things i know that can help you so stop wondering and put them to work and make your relationship more satisfying and make your marriage more satisfying too and positive too so i want to say thank you very much for today because today lesson have ended here i want to say thank you very much for your time for watching for your like so after when you watch finish and you think whatever you think don't forget to leave the comments down below and when you need more if you know that you can't leave your comments i will drop my email below you can communicate you can contact me through my email so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more video and also click on the notification button to be notified anytime i post a new video and we'll see you i will see you in a few days time and a very gorgeous greetings from daniel's family i miss you guys and i will see you my next on screen so please don't forget to turn up don't forget to like my video don't forget to leave your comments share and keep watching just turn up as as soon as i upload you will get notified and thanks for watching bye guys mwah, mwah. i want to say thank you very much for those who have been here for me and i want to say a very big thank you for those newcomers please after watching don't forget to subscribe and don't fail to ask your friends to subscribe you are all welcome and feel free to ask me any question that you know anything you know that is getting you confused don't forget to ask me